solve polynomial equations. Here we have two very important examples and they have kind of different solutions. You should remember that in equations it may be possible that sometimes you don't get any answers or sometimes you may get more than one answer. Normally you get only one answer if you have linear equations. Okay, Since the lines will intersect only at a point you may get multiple answers if the lines are the same lines, correct? So if one line is overlapping the other, then how many solutions will you have? Infinite. And how about parallel lines? They will never intersect, so no solution. So here is an example which is kind of like that. And let's see this, right? Now we have 9 times 1 plus 2n equals to 9 times 4 plus 2n. Well, you can expand it, multiply by 9 both sides and then figure it out. Or best part is, you can divide both sides by 9. In that case, we simplify it, right? So let's do this. So what we will do here is, we will divide by 9 both sides, right? Divide by 9 both sides. Is that okay? That's what we are going to do in the first step. And if we do that, we get 9 over 9 is 1, right? So let me write that once for you. So the equation is 1 plus 2n equals to 9 times 4 plus 2n. Is that okay? Now we are dividing by 9 on both the sides. In that case, what happens? 9 gets cancelled with 9, right? Cancel means 9 divided by 9 is 1. So we are left with 1 plus 2n on the left side. And 4 plus 2n on the right side. Now let's bring the variables to one side and the constants to the other. So we have 2n minus 2n and 4 minus 1. Correct? So 2n minus 2n is 0 and 4 minus 1 is 3. Now 0 equals to 3. That is never true. Correct? Can 0 be 3? No, it can't be. So we have it is never true, right? Therefore, we have no solution. Okay? So such equations don't have any solution. Okay? Let's consider the next equation. So here what we will do is we will expand the left hand side and then solve for x. So if we expand left hand side, we get 7 times 2 is 14 plus 7 times 3 21x equals to 14 plus 21x. We get the same things here, right? Now left side is equal to right side. Well, if we bring variables to one side, so 21x minus 21x equals to 14 and we'll take away this so we get 14 minus 5 14 so we get 0 equals to 0 now you see 0 is equal to 0 always right always true so that means we have infinite solutions so no matter what value of x you choose if you put x as 0 what do you get this term is 0, this term is 0, but 7 times 2 is 14, you get 14, do you see that? Now if you consider this 14 plus 21x, whatever may be the value of x, this equation is always true and therefore we say that we have infinite solutions. So these two examples are very typical, one having no solution, the other having infinite solutions. Remember equations can have either one solution, linear equations, wherever or can have no solution or infinite solutions, okay? Thank you.